Good day sa lahat, no? Um, welcome to our module 3 and this is the um, main objective of uh, a lot of you who are enrolled in the program to create a poultry breeding station in your area that is sustainable and science-based. No? It's very important and if you can really check around no? it's, uh, Bung Pilipinas, I think our, this program is the most sustainable and a lot of farmers have done it already and uh, they're earning well with this program so uh, I would really recommend to you to really uh, listen well and uh, study the program huh? preparation is the key preparation is before starting a breeding station study the farming program decide first if you are really committed to be a poultry farmer being passionate to animals and chickens is a big plus if you can recall this is in a module one introduction no? but uh, we want to really go back to the beginning so that uh, things can be tied up well uh, and it all starts with these things you will save ta yourself time money disturbance relationships and frustrations uh, if you study this program uh, through this module prepare your mind into it you have to focus on it uh, you don't need to overdo or overthink about it it's just a matter of following the system first and then you can uh, um, um, diverse as you go but on, with the start uh, para pong foundation sa bahay yan, ano, kailangan solid para po wherever you go you have a very good uh, uh, base knowledge always allocate time in your project at least 7 hours a week or more get information from reliable sources when you start right this will increase your chance of success probability is at hand profitability sa tan. Ibig sabihin po niyan, um, malaki ang chance yung kumita kung if you do things right. So, that is the first step. Always start with the right genetics. This is the key. In any livestock production, even sa plants, genetics is the key. So, uh, that will uh, make the length of knowledge and skill development quicker if you do it with the right genetics no? faster expect challenges and failures along the way this is normal so any farmer kahit sa buhay po no? this is part of our life our journey in life but being prepared is one thing and uh, you know rather than accepting all the punches as you go yeah, it's best to you know expect and prepare for these challenges and failures. Join our free range communities. Uh, one thing that we have is our uh, we have a group. Our group is really focused on the program to uh, support. May support group ka, so hindi ka na problema when it comes to knowing other things beyond your farming area. So magkakatulungan po tayo dito. Do your very best and leave to God the rest. I'll be sharing 27 years of poultry breeding experience. And uh, it includes commercial breeding. It also includes free-range farming and uh, some organic farming programs. And uh, the updates right now with uh, poultry production so everything will be updated if you go through this module you went through the introductory seminar which was free and then you enrolled to the comprehensive seminar on pre-range poultry production so the module one is the introductory seminar while the comprehensive seminar on free-range poultry production was module two and now we will be proceeding to module 3. You are now in module 3. 
Breeding Hatchery and Productivity Seminar. We will be setting up other seminars soon. We are uh, formulating a module 4 for uh, marketing and uh, troubleshooting programs uh, uh, in the hatchery level and how to market properly and the things that you need to learn uh, when you want to go out beyond your local area. So these things uh, we are trying to formulate and hopefully we will set up something by next month. Dominant Asia Livestock Genetics I uh, would like to thank you for attending this uh, Module 3 and for the continuing comprehensive education you just always message us or email us uh, Facebook Dominant Asia Pacific message us and like us our page or you can email us for any breeder inquiries uh, you can also email to dominant.asiapacific at gmail.com This is an intensive breeder seminar together with the main genetic uh, source which is dominant CZ in, uh, in uh, Czech Republic uh, and as the representative for Southeast Asia, dominant Asia livestock genetics. No? So we are trying to create a program for you. We are not here to just to sell any, any genetics. This is a point of uh, providing you the right program that is sustainable, doable, profitable for you when you set up a breeding station. Uh, I start always with a seminar, an educated breeder farmer is a successful farmer. Everything starts with good education and uh, once you get all the basic things ready and you have the critical mind to analyze things, you have a better chance of being successful rather than picking up things from the social media, from uh, hearsay, you know, from uh, other farmers you, whom you, you, you thought that they're, they're successful already but they don't share everything in a process that, you know, failure is inevitable. They don't share the failures of their life. They share to you what they think is successful to make them stand out. But the actual uh, whole package, the, you can only get that from this kind of education. Superior F1 uh, is the name that we provide, the F1, you know, because uh, it is focused more really on a science-based program of breeding. Smallholder farming community is about we, ours, and us to survive. Not about I, me, or my. Community po tayo magkakaagapay. So we help each other. We don't destroy each other's business, but rather help each other uh, move forward. No? Together we stand as one. The market is there to, share, to be shared by everybody as long as they follow the program properly and they they have the sense of community ship with them, no? Always have a humble heart, obedient mind, and a learning attitude when you are new in free-range breeding farming. So, uh, you, the more you learn, the more you should be humble in, in helping and sharing others the program. We are all farmers and the best you can at least provide is respect and kindness. Lahat po tayo dito farmers. Kahit po ako, farmer po ako. And uh, I expect uh, the same kindness and respect from you as I would share this kindness and respect programs for you also. So, let's not think of each other as competitors or, uh, you know, uh, other things, but rather on the positive side all the time. You can gain from, what can you gain from this online breeding seminar or module 3? Learn to be a successful breeder farmer starting at 20 breeders to 500 breeders uh, capacity. In, in this program, you count the females. If you have 20 breeders, that's 20 female capacity. 
and if it's a uh, 500 breeders, we're counting the 500 breeder capacity. Uh, we don't include the count with the uh, inclusive the male breeders. Now, when you see that light bulb again, these are already signs that you're important to know these things. And uh, so later on, if there will be a quiz or a questionnaire, you can easily answer them. Learn to place wise investments in the program. Reduce risk and create a faster return of investment. So that's why you go into these learnings because you want a faster and a wise uh, investment program rather than doing things no bara bara, kwaano lang dumating, bahala na, yung mga ganon. We are removing those uh, uncertainties by have, having a more accurate knowledge and foresight foresight po yung pananaw natin o yung, yung ating uh, dadaanang uh, roadmap ay mas maliwanag dahil po meron tayong uh, bag of good knowledge with us. No? Saves you time and money. No? And the technology is already set and all are science-based. Ibig sabihin po niyan, uh, wala na halos experimenting dito sa program. You just follow the system and uh, it should be, you'll be getting supposedly the, the results that we are expecting. Uh, not like you have to do your own genetic purification, breeding, no? and crossing, and uh, we don't have any benchmarking for that. And, and the bottom line is to save you time and money that in the process you will be earning well. least problem with diseases. No? Ibig sabihin po niyan, uh, ang disease can be reduced due to good biosecurity, good programming, and uh, management. Uh, disease is a vital threat to good pro profitability in livestock. Nakita po natin yung mga scenarios with, uh, with uh, um, ASF and other uh, ND, no? Newcastle disease issues with the uh, chickens to mga to may iwasan po ito and uh, you know it will reduce problems like this and will increase the chances of profitability learn to grow good quality breeders and eventually f1 which is what we call offsprings of parent stock breeders that is a technical term f1 no? anak ng mga certified breeders yan hindi po anak lang ng kung anong anak yan ano so, kailangan certified breeders if you're talking of F1. Uh, hindi po yan parang pangalan sa binyag na sinasabi, ito ngayon, F1 ka ngayon, ito, breeder ka, ito, ganto ka, hindi po. Kailangan po natin science-based ang system. Kaya you can only name F1 to certified breeders talaga. And if your breeders are just like lookalikes, no? copy chicken, ni copy cat, no? copy chicken, so, hindi huubra na ma-qualify nating F1 yun. No? How to develop and handle the market growth in the local area? More or less, you have an idea or inkling if you have a, a good knowledge in this seminar and you have a support group with you. Always remember, in a province, you can be four or five breeder farmers in the area who are all earning well. That is possible. Lalo, lalo na if you will work together. No? How to sustain the program in years to come? So, it's actually a long-term roadmap that we want to do. And uh, the more you develop it, the more chances of getting a good set of customers and uh, you have a big, bigger chance of producing more uh, day-old F1 chicks and that will be a good profit for you. How to prepare for the expanding market? Because the demand is increasing. If you are in the LGU, local government units, if you are in the uh, go, go, uh, governor's level or sa, sa mga provincial levels, uh, you will see that there is really a demand. Especially if you are updated with the Department of Agriculture, the demand for this program is already high. And we are trying to uh, uh, help the Department of Agriculture to reformat things that it will be with this 
uh, program of breeding stations that the sustainability can be achieved. So empty your cup. No? Prepare issues, the common issues that require a shift in learning. We need a paradigm shift in poultry farming. So uh, kailangan may mga ialis tayo sa mind natin, no? yung mga mindsets natin. It's for us to be uh, successful and better for you to absorb the program. Alam ko na yung mentality, no? Let's remove that. Uh, in my 27 years in the business, uh, nakita ko po ang iba na, they know better than me. They, they, it's okay, walang problema. But you have to prove it to me. And I've seen farmers doing things in reverse, in full reverse. And later on, when they are there already worrying, they will call me up. So, inaalis natin yung alam ko na yung mentality. Learn it as you start as grade 1 level. So, alisin po natin ang mga preconceived notions natin sa farming na to. Madali lang yan. Madali lang po yan kung alam na natin gagawin. No? At uh, madali lang po yan kung alam na natin pupuntahan at naiwasan na natin yung mga common problems along the way. It would be running smoothly, in short, if we do things from the start na maayos. Ngayon, kung mag-umpisa kayo, sabihin siya, madali lang yan do, breeding breeding lang yan. Okay, pero I think uh, you should really reconsider if you're going to, into this program, uh, consider the other factors that I'll be telling you later. Paano ba ako makakatipid? Yan ang always nisip ka agad. Paano ba ako makashortcut dyan, do? Paano ba tayo makatipid dyan? Pwede bang lumaki yan ng hindi kumakain? Pwede bang mangitlog yan ng kukonti lang pakakain ko? O azola lang pakain ko? O sitaw lang pakain ko? Always remember that the these animals need the growth requirements and it can only be given to proper amino acid and protein requirements. No? And it doesn't mean that the gulay or the vegetables or the forages that you give has amino acid, yes. But the, does it match the, the requirement of the animal? Pag hindi po nagmamatch yan, they will just uh, remove it from their body and they will not be useful. That is why sometimes you wonder, bagsak na yung production, biglang hihinto, pumapayat ang manok. Because we are so busy cutting down the basic important cost that we forgot that the main reason why we are doing this is not to cut cost, but to earn well. Yun yung mga common paradigm na kinaalisin natin. Pagka inuna ho natin yung magtipid, I don't think this is the right program for you. Because it will never work. I will tell you it will never work if your priority is to cut costs. This is not the business for you. The priority is to make the foundations uh, solid, doable, and uh, you just need to continue that foundation, those foundations, to make them run. Hindi yung pwedeng agad itipid ka agad. Alisin na natin sa mind natin mga Pilipino yung ganyang mentality. If you don't, kasi iba ang priority at sense of use of money. Money is nothing if it doesn't have any worth. And we have to learn properly how to manage it by spending wisely. Not cut cost. Shortcut ko na lang yan. Yan pa isang problema, no? They always tend to uh, do shortcuts, cut corners, no? And uh, they think that doing that will make them achieve better results or earn more. Alam nyo, in the long run, ang mag-judge uh, mag, uh, sa inyo, sa productivity nyo, are your customers. Once your customers complain, for whatever reason that you uh, made a shortcut, it will eventually get back to you. And, you know, you lose a lot of customers if you do that. And if you have friendly competitions around, and these these other farmers are doing the the program properly tingin nyo ba makakalaban tayo kung shortcut ang sistema natin pwede na yung mentality no? pagbabrahin na lang ano yung isang pisa since we are starting with a small volume of breeders doable pa yan dahil kung ano lang ang budget natin eh, we want our investment to be properly placed 
so that it will earn well. And from there, you expand. Pero hindi pwedeng habang buhay, pwede na yan. You need to focus on the quality of your produce so that you can make your customers happy and successful and in the process will make you successful in the long run. Short-term projections. Pinag-uusapan na 6 months from now, 3 months from now. If you're setting up a breeding station, we're talking of years. And who doesn't want a business that will give them opportunities for the next 10 years? We in this program has been here for more than 10 years and we're still expanding, increasing the opportunities, not just for us, but sharing it to other people like you. So, kung maghahabaan natin yung pananaw natin on how to approach the project, hindi po yung parang uh, single deal lang ng poker. Pag kumita, sige, pag hindi, ayaw na. Hindi po ganun. Remember, the livelihood program that you will do can really help your community, especially your family, your relatives. Just to the simple, just with the simple thing of uh, uh, eating good food, nutritious food, nutritious poultry pro produce, napakalaking bagay na po. At saka yung mga mabibigyan natin ng hanap buhay later on as we proceed and expand. Has preconceived ideas. Dok, nagsabong na po ako. Kaya ko na po yan. Sige po. Bigyan niyo po ako ng ganito karami. Pagdating ngayon yan, sige, bigyan kita. Pagdating ngayon, ang mga problema, paano i-manage? Kasi po, iba yung program sa commercial, iba yung program sa backyard, iba yung program sa free range, iba rin ang program sa fighting cock. No? <laughs> Being in this in this industry, in this community for 10 years doesn't prove anything unless you are successful. Being in this program, that means you did not grow. Ang point doon, hindi kayo nag-grow sa knowledge. Hindi lumalaki yung projection nyo. O, lagay na natin, Doc, from two uh, fighting cocks, mayroon na akong 100. Is it earning? Is it giving you money? Is it uh, feeding you the your families, no? your caretakers' families? No? Or uh, is it expanding to a sense that uh, we're focusing more on already uh, helping others to have a business? At the same time, my feel nyo, successful na kayo sa ginagawa ninyo na, o oh, igagamble natin yung day-to-day life natin dyan sa, sa program. I'm not against it. It's just that uh, I've seen, you know, Oh, with due respect sa inyo po na mga uh, ating mga gentleman na uh, mananabong may mga iba rin talaga iba ang taba sa kalaan nila they can handle things to their mouth and to their pockets it's not true here in this program you have to learn how to be humble and uh, remove all preconceived ideas na uh, kailangan natin to make us science based Setting the program on what you dream or imagine, no? rather than actualities. Eh, pinipilit kung ano yung napanaginipan, yun ang mangyari sa buhay niya sa pag-aalaga ng ano. Uh, long shot po yan. Minsan, no shot po yan. Kasi you have to stick with the reality. It's like, you know, uh, having a product and you work through that product. And then you work around it. But you cannot dream na dapat ganyan ang mangyari, ganyan may... Things happen along the way that you have to be ready and without the proper education, you cannot do it. Definitely. People who focus on book numbers. So, kailangan ko palang maglagay ng oh, 1,000 breeders kagan para kumita ako ng limpak-limpak na salapi. Alam nyo, yung mga ganong mental na nakakatakot yun dahil parang hanggang doon na lang yun eh. And once you see reality, once you see the real work you have to do, once you see the real results, it's not just about numbers. Livestock is not about numbers. It is how profitable and successful you are with a program. Just for you to note, no, later on you'll see a picture of our breeder farm. Our farm is only 2,500 square meters and it serves a lot of farmers. 
we unload 4,000 a week of day-old chicks. We are capable of producing that much on a small volume. Hindi po kailangan ng tayktarya ang lupa niyo rito. O limpak-limpak na sa lapi. Tatakbo ito if you have the passion, you, you have the knowledge, and you are really here for the long run. No? It can work well. Okay, so topics naman tayo to be discussed. No? As uh, kamukha nang nilagay ko po dyan, knowledge is power. No? Introduction to the present poultry production in the Philippines, short history, general foundations in poultry breeding, value of genetics, objective is for a nationwide free-range breeding program. We will show that uh, topic later. Starting a small breeding program, selecting the right variety for your area, productivity values, and cost profit potentials. Housing preparations, biosecurity, a must, feeding and nutrition, brooding, growing, breeding, vaccination. So we learn to earn, no? that's the objective, learn to earn. Egg storage, egg classification, incubation process, setting eggs and batching, hatching the eggs, chick classification and boxing, marketing and community ship. In this module, no, it's, you know, cramming up the 27 years of uh, knowledge and uh, sharing them to you. So, lahat po ng hindi umubra, may mga pakikita po tayo at may mga sabihin ako sa inyo mga huwag nyo nang subukan eh huwag nyo nang talaga subukan dahil after this so many years in this uh, industry both commercial and uh, free range nakita ko na po yung uubra at hindi based already in the market you're going into maybe some of you saw the market in, in Europe in Japan in, in, in the United States and uh, in Asia and uh, it doesn't mean that much if you talk about the market in the Philippines. The market in the Philippines is very different. Very different. So you have to learn these things as you proceed. Knowledge plus action is really power. And that is empowerment to the farmers like you. We're trying to empower you with this knowledge. In any business, there are challenges along the way. Knowledge on preparation and prevention is essential. Key to sa successful livestock farming. So, importante po yung napakalaking bagay po siguro sa buhay natin. Alam na natin yung roadmap ng buhay natin pupuntahan. So, alam na natin iwasan yung mga lubak, yung mga problema, no? yung mga perilous uh, areas. At uh, nakakapaggawa tayo ng magandang programa. Now, always remember there are always challenges. We are trying to reduce these challenges by having the knowledge. And having that knowledge on how to prepare. Maagap tayo. No, we always have a plan B. No, maybe that's the reason why you are here. Uh, participating in this module because you're looking for a plan B. Or you're looking for the new normal in your life. Uh, gusto nyo magbago ng inyong uh, uh, source of livelihood, no? income, which you also enjoy. Importante po rito, napakalaking bagay po nito kung ginagawa nyo to na ini-enjoy nyo din. This is what we see no? right now. No? Everybody is lining up for a normal job. But uh, entrepreneurs are in high need right now. Inisip ko nga before, before this uh, uh, new normal came out you know if I was in just in a normal job you know, as compared to an entrepreneur farmer who is based in food because ever since for the past 10 15 years I've been proving that you know the backbone of this country is agriculture and we have to show that really to our mga kababayans right now that irregardless of material wealth and uh, prestige, it is having a secured source of food and income and enjoying your family in your locality rather than being abroad 
is the main priority. Family first. So, yung mga ganung bagay, yung iba, ako, kaya ako pumunta po sa larangan ng entrepreneurship or agripreneurship dahil I would like to enjoy my family and my my passion at the same time. Creating a business or opportunities for us as a family. Yun po, napakahirap gawin if you're uh, ano, at W, no? or uh, part of the armed forces or defense or the police na lagi naka-red alert. So, sana po, uh, with this thing, it can bind you together as a family and having also a business in uh, agri-entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs see what others can't, do what others won't, and accomplish what others dream by Ryan Dilley. Napakaganda pong uh, quotation na nagpapakita ng mga kinds na entrepreneurship is really an opportunity because later on nakita ko po nung, when, we, when I started before you have a dream you try to work for that dream everybody you know challenges you questions you with the program now they're asking you paano nagawa yan paano mo ginawa yan paano mo narating yan yung mga ganong bagay once you see it because you have that ang agri entrepreneurship in your mind and in your heart to do it so, itong mga bagay na to are really virtues in, in life right now, especially at this time in your normal. So, what I see, what I experience, yan pong nakikita nyo ngayon. You have an idea, you try to persist. No? You work for it, you try to improve it, constant po yan. You continue your focus, always put a dash of passion as you do it, and you push you push forward, no? And then, uh, even your, your family members, you try to push them in this situation, in, in this in this idea, because to try and proven na po eh. Kaya, dapat tulungan natin iba, ma makita rin yung nakikita natin, and then serve others later on. No? Once you see how how difficult the plight of our farmers in the area, uh, napakabigat po. I go around, me and my wife, Christina, goes around and we see farmers, you know, suffering. We see farmers looking for answers to their problems and with their livelihood. You know. And I hope this is one of the solutions we can share everybody who participates in this program. I hope that you guys can share this to others. Way to success, as I've said, it's full of mistakes failures, rejection, frustration, and insult. And uh, usually, it happens from the start and as you go. But when once you are here at this top, you know, nalawa, na malaki po na babawasan dyan. Failures and mistakes are gone. Rejection is definitely gone. Of course, you said some frustrations, but insults will definitely be gone. So, these things are very relevant when you do farming, especially kung galing ka sa urban life, meron kang business, namamasukan ka no? and you want to have your hands be soiled uh, kung baga madumihan ng lupa yung iyong kamay, napaka sa kanila, ibang tao okay? uh, it's a uh, demotion, but they don't see what we see so let's just leave them be no? and it's like this no? success is like an iceberg this is what you see in me right now. But I went all through this. Rejection, sleepless nights, tears. Lahat po yan. Dinaanang ko po lahat yan. I will tell you, kahit po ako, na meron ng knowledge, ako nag-pioneer ng programa, ng, as a veterinarian, um, nag-propagate ng, ng system na hindi lang po yung sarili ko lang iniisip ko. Uh, yung pong nakikita nyo ngayon ganito, eh, nagdaan po rahat yun. And the first step is always the hardest. It's always been the hardest. Yung the big leap na tinatawag nila. No? It's not that easy. And uh, But being prepared is very important. That is your initial ladder that you need to put up from this as you to going there. That knowledge is your ladder to go to that big step going to this kind of program. 
That secret towards a successful free-range chicken farming is please listen and follow instructions. So, yan po. And, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Wala na. We have, we have invented it for you. It's just for you how to use it. You don't have to be over-expounding on it. That you want to create a super chicken, or super duper chicken. Uh, you have to be realistic that this is not the objective. The objective, bottom line, we always go back in our definition or mission vision kung bakit natin ginagawa itong program, bakit kayo nag-decide maggawa nito ng modules 3 ay mag-participate from 1, 2, 3, no? is really to make your business run, earn properly for your family, eat good food, and get good business with your friends, no? in your communities, etc. That's what happened with the other farmers. So, uh, yun ang yun lang ang ganun kasimple and we don't have to reinvent that we will become the number one for me you know, right now at this time new normal number one is not the healthiest thing to do you know, being happy and contented with what you're doing with your family and with your uh, with your business you know, agribusiness is the trophy that you just need not number one me I don't want to be number one Sabi nga sa akin, Dok, ikaw na yung pinakasikat, hindi ka ako, hindi yung importante. Importante yung contentment mo, happiness mo. Kasama mo may pamilya mo, nagninegosyo ka, may farming ka, araw-araw meron kang pagkain dahil yung produce mo, nag expand ka ng ibang crops, nag expand ka ng ibang species, later on magkwekwel tayo, later on magkakaroon tayo ng other programs na makakatulog po itong discipline na binibigay ko sa inyo, no? And we don't have to reinvent everything. It is already there. We have to be God-centered with this program. Uh, always remember that everything moved through the grace of God to us. No? And the basic foundations also in this program towards successful free-range farmer is our commitment to our customers and to the community. No? We should have ethics Hindi po yung nakikita ko social media na nagsisiraan, nagdadayaan, naglolokuhan, uh, tinatakbuhan ng pera yung kapwa. So, prinsipyo. Mayroon tayong principles. We abide by those principles. Kung ano po yung tinuro sa atin nung bata pa tayo, yun lang ang mga kasimples yung din natin. At kung ano lang yung tinuro ng, ng uh, ating Diyos, yun lang ang ating susundin values na transfer din natin sa mga niyan both in personal values and business values and social values accountability pagka po nagkamali, umingi po ng pasensya at gawin ng paraan na maayos po yun na we should be responsible with our actions no? and uh, let us be humble to accept accountabilities it will make you a better person ever Pagka marunong na po tayong uh, tumanggap ng ating pagkakamali at ginagawa natin ng parang ayusin, we are accountable, it will mold you to a better person. Integrity goes with that. Your integrity will be uh, uh, nourished by these, three, these things. No? So, yan ang hawak-hawak ninyo. And by the time, ika nga sa mga ibang, ibang bansa, kung ano yung naitayo mo o naiwan mo sa kapwa mo at sa pamilya mo, yun ang magsasabi sa iyo kung gano'n ka, gano ka kaayos na tao. Hindi po yung dami ng pera mo sa bangko. Dami ng sasakyan mo. No? It's more of how you are uh, and how you spend your life. Helping others is the most important. community building. Once you get involved in this program and you, and you want to be a real community breeder farmer, yung category pong yun, ano, nakikita niyo po yan sa mga social media, mga community free-range breeder farmers talaga na nag involved tumutulong sa community, nag-share ng time nila, yung knowledge nila, you need to be part of the community building also. So here, you have to share first before you can, uh, you know, 
uh, get the privileges later on. So, important po yan. And, always pay it forward. Ibig sabihin po niyan, tumulong muna tayo bago tayo humingi ng tulong. So, itong mga bagay na to, pagka nakita niyo sa module na to, natapos niyo ito, eh sana po makatulong sa inyo later on how to pay it forward to your community. Science-based free-range poultry farming. Science-based tayo. So, we want the truth. No? Hindi yung baka, pwede na, o yata, hindi po pwede yun. So, the truth between uh, in, in free-range poultry farming, we need to unravel it based on the knowledge that we have accumulated through the years, the knowledge uh, that we learned from the academe, and knowledge that we learn in practice, and the practical knowledge that we see, and the present scientific results right now that are dynamically happen, ha happening right now. So, dyan po, magugulat kayo na yung mga genetic suppliers nakikita na yung consideration na tong, itong classing farming na to is one of the viable programs to do rather than having so much production of chicken. Dahil pagka rin po nagka-lockdown, nagka-problema, na-shutdown yung probinsya, ayan na po ang problema. Sabi nga nung ating supplier, uh, la, hayaan na natin sila maglaro sa Champions League o doon sa pinakamataas na level, no? Championship League. No? Tayo, dito lang tayo sa probinsya. Pagalingin natin, sarili natin na magkaroon tayo ng mga objectives na sinasabi ko and then expand it from there. Hindi po kailangang uh, napaka number one natin para maging uh, you know, happy tayo sa ginagawa natin. Continuous learning and development to be sustainable. It is continuous. May mga later on updates po kami pinapost sa social media, sa Dominant Asia Pacific uh, page, no? sa Facebook. Mga updates po yan. Learn them. No? Study them. And uh, we hope that it will guide you in your programs later on. We have to update yan and update natin. Because it's a continuous learning program. No? Hindi yung pwedeng yung alam ko na ngayon, 20 years ago yung nang gagamitin ko ngayon. Hindi po. So it has to be updated. Learn to separate myths from facts. No? So importante po yan. Yung mga haka-haka, sabi-sabi. Sabi ng lolo ko, ganto raw. Sabi ng chewing ko, ganto raw. Hindi po. We base things on facts. Kasi po, yung sinabi natin, kung myth po yan, we are affecting the livelihood of the other farmer. Kung yan po ay walang kasiguruhan, wala pong scientific basis, at yan ang ating kinakumpanya o sinishare, hindi po yan factual, eh magkakaproblema po tayo because we are affecting other people's lives. So everything has to be based in facts. Okay, this is a picture. This what you see is a breeding of uh, the male breeder and the female breeder. No? So it's a science-based program uh, and it just shows the reproductive anatomy of the two animals. No? And uh, very important to understand na hindi po siya magiging fertilized kung hindi po na mate ng breeder male. So hindi pwedeng itlog ng nang itlog. At at the same time, at the other side of the coin, hindi yung porky walang male, eh hindi mangingitlog. Kasi the reproduction is a local, is a normal ov ovulation process of the chicken to produce eggs. It's just a question of whether you want it fertilized or not. But if you want it fertilized, sabi nga sa module 2, no? uh, kung ikaw ay magbebenta ng table egg, you don't need the males. You don't need them. But if you're doing in a breeding program, you need the males. Okay? So, once na inseminate to yung female, it will have 18 minutes to be, yung oocyte is released into the ovidum. Ibig sabihin yung, yung pinaka yolk, no? part ng yolk na ano, will be fertilized. No? Abumen is deposited, so 3 hours po yan after that. No? Formation of the shell membrane, yung pong parang plastic doon sa, sa egg, no? 
and then the shell outer white and, and eggshell is formed and then egg is now ready to be laid bakit ko pinakita yung registration na to you need 25 hours to create the egg irregardless whether it's, it's uh, fertilized or not but you need 25 hours so ibig sabihin po it's uh, 24 hours a day lang po tayo fixed so more or less they they need 25 hours to form the egg so important po yun kasi akala ng iba dok nangingitlog po ba yung mga araw-araw so how do I explain that in layman's term simple terms no? um, sa pitong araw po sa isang linggo anim na beses po siyang nangingitlog sa kanilang peak production pinakamataas na production so kumbaga kalakasan nila mga itlog and slowly bababa po yan sa lima slowly bababa sa apat so ganun po talaga ang life cycle ng manok sa kanilang uh, kalakasan mga itlog it can be six or even six and a half no? or seven uh, eventually no? may mga time niya na almost pero meron pa rin hong 12 hours or uh, 16 hours na hindi siya so all seven days na hindi siya pwedeng mga itlog so it's not practical to say that it's every day the outlook of free range poultry in the Philippines napakita ko rin po to sa previous modules natin 45% po ng supply is coming from a source na hindi po uh, properly trained and managed lahat no? so genetics is not there no? the skill is irregular so kung ano lang madampot sa backyard yun lang ipoproduce and that is 45% of the poultry inventory of the Philippines imagine no? uh, what we see in the urban areas sa mga cities, siyempre kung ano yung nakikita lang natin pero sa backyard, sa mga probinsya eh, sila pala ang nagpapakain ng manok sa 45% uh, ng uh, kinakain sa Pilipinas ay galing sa kanila sa native and improved that is where we are native and improved broiler is the green one and we are in the native and improved so together with our good secretary secretary William Dar we're trying to set up a program that is small holder or medium holder farmer based program at match po yung genetics ng dominant with this program and land bank the, and the other rural banks are now opening up their their uh, institutions, loaning, lending institutions na magkaroon po ng opportunity sa mga farmers na katulad natin. Dati po hindi pinapansin ng free range or backyard chicken farming dahil nakikita nila to as not as a business. But now, they see that it has a very big opportunity because why? It gives uh, livelihood to families in the rural areas. And then, may mga extended livelihoods na nakikreate yan. Yung mga nagtitrade ng itlog, ng manok, nagpaproduce ng pins, nagdi-deliver. So, nakikita na natin yung whole supply chain. Na kung may mga ganito sa mga communities, nagiging self-sufficient and sustainable sila. Kaya po, binibigyan na nila ng value ngayon itong mga ganito klaseng programa. Providing genetics to universities and local government units. Uh, nandito po ang uh, ating mga kaibigan sa LGU and also sa mga universities no? si Dr. Asuncion Beltran no? meron siya mga genetics na kinuha sa atin and uh, we provided him some tips and programs on how to do it we have uh, farmers in the outskirts of our mga katutubo na binibigyan ng opportunity magkaroon ng chicken program and uh, itong mga bagay na to sa bundok ay napakalaking value no at may mga community farmers tayo, mga free-range farmers na, na mayroong mga social uh, work na ginagawa para makarating yung ating programa sa kanila. So, sana po magawa rin natin itong mga to sa universities, sa mga indigenous natin, makatulong tayo, at sa mga local government units. No? Importance of free-range chicken in the Philippine history all goes back that uh, Antonio Pigafetta, who is the chronicler, taga-sulat o taga-compile ng uh, 
ng tawag na yung siguro publisher ano taga compile ng mga history at ano nung panahon yun na nagulat sila nung naglanding sila din sa Pilipinas eh, ni Bajelan sa Cebu eh, may mga manok na at inu-offer sa kanila yung manok so and, and they think that the the chickens are used also for cock fighting so they understand the fowl uh, production no? farm not, not production but farming that it is part of their uh, tribes or their communities at that time in 1521 so ganyan po ka-valuable na na also starring o cameo role ang mga uh, chicken sa history ng Pilipinas na famous, famous Filipino who uh, enjoys poultry farming during colonial times ating uh, kuyang doc na si Dr. Jose Rizal yung kanyang replika ng kulungan niya doon sa Dapitan. So, uh, Dr. Uh, ang ating bayani na si Dr. Jose Rizal ay nakakaintindi ng value ng chicken sa pang-araw-araw sa rural areas. And then during the Manila-Acapulco galleon trade, ang chicken is always visible no, in the market sa mga talipapa. Nakikita natin ang value nito as part of cockfighting and also as part of butchering. No? So, source of chicken sa uh, nung panahon nila. And uh, it has been an integral part of our culture, ang chicken. From the north tip of Luzon to the southernmost tip of uh, Mindanao, chicken is of uh, prime value for us as Filipinos. Chickens and ducks in the colonial yields. No? Chickens and ducks are already common livestock in the Philippines, even before the arrival of the Spaniards. Pigapeta, in 1521, who is the assistant and chronicler of Ferdinand Magellan, described to his surprise that chickens are grown in the household for fighting. For fighting no? Duck farming din po na introduce sa atin ng mga Chinese, even before the Spaniards came. Okay? For more than three centuries of Spanish colonization of the Philippines, cock fighting has been an instrument of the Spanish colonizers in taxing the locals. So, ikaw ikaw yung nagsasabong mataas ang income tax mo. During times of war in the provinces of Mindanao, chicken raising is a high value advantage in converting livestock to cash for medicines and other essential items, even for bartering. So, napakalaki ng value sa mga probinsya na meron kaalaga mga manok pang barter, pang bilhin ng gamot, pang bilhin ng bigas, no, pang malit. Nandyan po yan. So, uh, talaga pong karaniwan nakalagi sa silong no? at uh, kung ano lang yung pirangkanin sa pagkainan, yun ang pinapakain natin. At naging pantawid to ng ating mga pamilya ng panahon yun sa gutom at ng gera. Basic foundations towards a successful poultry breeding program. Ito na po yung mga aral na tayo. Nandito na yan. So, after the history, we learn the, the science behind it. Okay. So, ready na kayo ha. Mag-take notes din kayo as you go so that you understand things better. Now, once you review it, this one you will review for the next seven days. So, paulit-ulit, by piecemeal, itawag nga nila, chap-chapin ninyo, by ano, may time kayo bago matulog, o habang nag-re-review ng gabi, nakikita nyo ito, and then you can stop the next day, ulitin nyo, wala akong problema. That's the advantage of having an online seminar uh, over a live seminar. Isang beses nyo napapasadahan ng live seminar dito, you have the chance to review it again and again. No? Foundations in poultry breeding farm, no? genetics, knowledge and management, nutrition and feeding, housing and equipment, hatching egg and hatchery, agribusiness and marketing, and biosecurity is the main, one of the main foundations at the other end. So itong dalawang ito are very important as the mother foundations of these, all these programs. 
without these, all the rest will not run. Maybe if you have genetics, but your biosecurity is very bad, sinisipon, nagkakasakit, tumamatay ang kalagi, everything will fall down like dominoes if we don't have these two as the main mother foundations of the program. Key points in modern poultry breeding. No? May mga bagay na you have to really uh, focus into. No? Management. Day-to-day no? -day has to be managed properly, looked after properly. They will not run by themselves or produce chickens or day old chicks by themselves. But you have to manage the chickens properly. And uh, this is very important, management. Immune status, no? Uh, the immune status of the animal is very important. Kung sakitin po yung batch natin, kakaproblema tayo sa ating mga alaga, uh, we, they will not be productive. Malta, mahaba ang downtime. Always remember, pag nagkasakit mga alaga natin, multiple ang negative effects sa atin sa farming. Number one, possible na mamatay ang ka. Lahat na in-invest mo doon, uh, apektuhan. No? Lalo na sa manok. Pagka nag-invest ka na ng X number of pesos sa isang manok, kakasakit lang, mamatay, problema yan. And then, uh, problema ng gamot, gagastos ka sa gamot. And then, the downtime and productivity. So, yung mga commitments mo mag-produce ng eggs, chicks, and meat, chicken meat, hindi mamay bibigay. So, the immune status has to be secured all the time. Disease challenges. No? As we grow animals, lagi pong meron tayong threat ng disease. That is why we have good biosecurity programs to share to you. And, ang importante po rito, naiintindihan mo natin yung programs. You know, we are aware and we know how to prevent things to happen. Yung pong critical uh, thinking nyo is very important. Nah, sabi ni Doc, Para hindi magtuloy-tuloy itong problema ito, hindi lumaki, dapat gawin itong mga bagay na ito. No? So, yung mga signs na nag-umpisa pa lang yung problem, naiintindihan nyo na kung paano nyo i-approach. Mas mahirap pong uh, mag-farming uh, ng puro takot at alala at bili lang ng bili ng gamot ang gagawin solusyon. Yung gamot to isa lang yan sa mga uh, pwede nyo gamitin. At hindi po yan ang laging solusyon sa lahat ng sakit ng malaga. Dahil kahit habang nagkakasakit ko yan, bili kayo ng bili ng gamot. Dapat iwasan ang problema. Pa paano maiwasan magkasakit ang ating alaga? Nutritional status. Importante po alam natin yung feeds na pinapakain natin. Napakahalaga po niyan. Parang gasolita po ng ating alaga. Ayan. Uh, nang sasakyan, ano? Na hindi tatakbo ng maayos. Kung ang binibigyan natin gasolina, may tubig. No? Halo-halo. At hindi tama sa kanyang rating, no? Uh, pagka ganyan, hindi tatak mo ng maayos. So, yung mga nagsasabing asola lang, mabubuhay na alaga mo, mga binibentahan lang ako kayo na asola. I'm just being straight about it because a lot of people made that mistake na asola lang, lalaki na yan, so asola na lang, mag-grow ko na asola. O kaya, eh, tricantera lang, lalaki, hindi po, hindi po totoo yan. There's no science for that. So, nutrition has to be balanced for them to produce properly and a longer time, uh, a longer productivity time. And, of course, fertility. So, useless po mag poultry breeding tayo kung mababa ang fertility. And uh, we will uh, go into that later on. May, ano nyo, ma-understand nyo yung values ng fertility sa ating uh, breeding and uh, farming ng uh, poultry breeding. Value of genetics, no? always invest on good genetics with a proven track record. Do not risk this vital foundation. Huwag po kayo magpapadala sa mga gandang pictures laang. No? Huwag kayo magpapadala sa mga sikat, sikat-sikat laang. Pagka sinabi niyo yung pangalan, nakala niyo yung nakuha niyo yun na. No, you have to be diligent in looking or checking out the supplier. So, yung mga ganong bagay po, Yan bang kukuha na nyo? Meron bang enough uh, documents yan to prove its uh, capability as claimed? Meron ba yung uh, proven track record na uh, more than 10 years of grow, growing production? O sumulpot lang yan, parang kabuti, magaling lang uh, mag-sales talk at magaling mag-picture 
eh, nakakabenta na. And later on, after two years, hindi nyo na makita. May mga ganun po, masakit man sabihin, uh, with due respect sa, sa ating lahat dito. No? Yun po yung mga iniiwasan ko, yung mga loko kayo ng mga uh, fly-by-night, yung mga taong na uh, andyan lang para kumolekta sa, sa Luelier o sa Palawan Express, tapos hindi nyo na makita, hindi na, hindi na, ma, ano, hindi na kay friend sa Facebook, mga ganyan ba, ang dami pong ganyan. At nagsusumbong din sa akin, Dok, naloko ako ganito. Una-una po, pag kukuha kayo, tingnan nyo po yung track record ng kukuha na ninyo lagi. Hindi yung sa paganda ng picture na ako po kaya. Sa galing po ng genetics, kung paano po yung kiniklaim, eh match doon sa kailangan yung production. 